Hello everyone and welcome back to Screen Trends and in today's video we'll be covering the topic on the true story about what really happens on Bar Rescue. Also don't forget that we'll be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card so make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it. As most of you probably already know, John Taffer is the Gordon Ramsay of the bar and nightclub business. In each episode of this program, Taffer helps transform a struggling bar into a vibrant, profitable business utilizing his experience and expertise as a nightclub consultant. But people have been asking, what really happens on his show and is John Taffer actually showing off all of his fraudulency? Well, let's go ahead and talk about it right now. The first thing that we want to mention is that some fights that break out are completely and extremely fake. As an example, John Taffer and a bar owner in Denver had to be physically restrained after getting into a shoving match on this week's episode of the popular Spike TV reality series. Taffer and Ami Benari were actually separated so the ugly wrestling match didn't escalate into a knockdown, drag out fist fight. Taffer is used to stressing owners and the staff to a breaking point and then drawing out the fight with the owner. People have commented saying that it's not good at all to do that, especially if a fight happens. Others mentioned that Taffer was a fraud and purposely made the owners mad by shouting at them, therefore trying to make a scene and trying to get this reaction. This is good for the show since they can make headlines if a fight breaks out. And a fight did break out again on another episode between employees of the O-Face bar and the TV show crew just recorded it for a couple of seconds until Taffer broke the fight off. Viewers said it was fake and that it was just some drama for the reality TV series to get people to keep watching and so they can get views. The second thing is how the numbers are scripted as well. A bar owner that went onto the show actually exposed Taffer and the production team for something pretty bad, faking a lot of stuff. The bar owner claimed that the producers told him, for our story, you're losing $10,000 a month and losing your house and closing down next month, all of which is actually false. We don't know what to say about this, but the bar owner has to agree since he wants to go on the show, while Taffer always does claim that Bar Rescue is real and nothing is ever scripted. Most people just want to watch the show do feel otherwise, though. A lawsuit was filed by Dr. Paul T. Wilkes against Bongo LLC, which is a Bar Rescue production company, and it also included John Taffer and his wife, Nicole Taffer. Paul was an owner of of the Sand Dollar in Las Vegas, which was on season 3 of the show and renamed the bar 702. The show gave him a bad reputation, claiming that he was doing horrible things to John's wife, Nicole Taffer, and like we said, the show creates so much drama that it isn't even real at all and is just all for views and clickbait. At number 3 is the cameras. Of course reality shows are set up by producers and every reality show can just adjust reality to make their show work however they want. Bar Rescue is using real bars, real bar owners, and John Taffer comes in and to yell at every single one of them, give training, and does the renovation. That's all real. But for example, every single episode they say that they set up hidden cameras at the bar before he goes in. How could that possibly happen without everyone agreeing to be on the film though, if they don't know they're being recorded? Though people do forget about the cameras and such very quickly after being told about them and reverse to just the regular behavior, but this has always been questioned on every single reality TV show, so we'll give this one a pass, but we still are have a lot of questions about it. Lastly is that the show just has way too much yelling and aggression, which is just for a show as well. Bar Rescue went from having these deeper connections with employees and owners with longer intimate sit-downs and showing how the renovations actually took place and the changes actually came in. Now in newer seasons, there's just a few only heartwarming stories thrown in and fans don't even see the rescue renovation take place. Because of this, fans just begin to speculate that the show is faking all the emotional moments since the Bar Rescue is just a lot more aggressive with John Taffer just yelling and sometimes he even goes over his limit. Some bars just end up getting closed down after the show and Taffer claims that he's trying to help them, which is clearly not true since you can't yell yell your way to a solution, and I don't think Taffer realizes that, and that's what a lot of people don't like about him. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, we really do appreciate it, and don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon as well, also comment something really nice down below, and we will see every single one of you in the next video, have a great day guys, and bye bye